Oh, this is uh, this is my new base, right? Murica. <laughs> Because it's an oil field. I, I came over here, I found a couple of oil nodes, and I thought to myself, you know what? This location needs some freedom. So here's how I do this, right? I tried catching this jet dragon over and over and over again, and it just, uh, it just was kicking my ass up one side and down another. So I came over here to this area, right beside where the jet dragon is on the map, and I, uh, I built a base as close to it as I could get. It won't let me get any closer. It says the base is too close to a boss spawn point. So I got the box as close as I could. And I, I kind of put it in this little uh, pinch area between these two uh, these two mountain looking things. This damn tree is always in the way. Hang on here. There we go. Um, figured that would be a good pinch point to try to draw everything into. And you know what? Can I build glass here? Because that might be more aesthetically pleasing. I can. And at first I thought, the only way I'm going to be able to do this is I'm going to have to get a whole bunch of my buddies to log into the game and come and help me beat this thing. Because every time I went over and fought this thing, even though I've got this kick-ass Gatlin gun, it just kicked my ass. Now, on my server, we have it set up so that two bosses pop out. So it made it even harder because two freaking jet dragons pop up right here. Did I kill them too recently? Oh, god damn it. Well, this is really disappointing if they're not here. Oh, shit! There they are. Okay. So, uh, so yeah. Even with this big-ass Gatlin gun, level 55 gun, look how... Look how little damage this does, right? Fives and sixes. It's taken a while to chew through them. But when they hit me, well, there goes half my armor. And now I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Stop, drop, and roll. So, yeah, this isn't working, right? <laughs> this is not... Shit! Where am I? I can't even fucking see. Run away! Okay, so... Yeah, this ended horribly, right? So I'm getting my ass back here to the base as quickly as possible. No, no, leave me alone. In my glass box. Can't get me in my glass box, right? So I can't beat this thing alone. So I'm going to bring like 30 of my friends along. So let's, uh, let's put a whole bunch of these guys out there. Um, maybe some flying mobs. Uh, maybe a whole bunch of these uh, seals because that would be hilarious to have a whole bunch of seals out there and um, Maybe if maybe a few of these duck things Right and um, We have any more room we got room for two more two more um, How about some Isis birds, okay, so now I got the base filled with pals. Now it's not two on one, it's two against 31. And I got like penguins and shit. Um, oh, they, there he is over there. Let's get his attention. Hello, remember me? Yeah, is that Tickle? your fat pal ass over here. Wait, I'm reloading. It's not fair to attack while I'm reloading. Oh shit. Okay. Here we go. Now, if you decide to do that, if you decide to do this, um, remember he's uh, a fire type dragon, so he's weak to ice damage, so... Water and ice mobs are really good. And consider avoiding ground-based mobs because the son of a bitch will sometimes kite your entire team over here into this lava field and then they die in the lava. But yeah, we're losing pals left and right, so we, we, we need to put some more people in here, right? Uh, ooh, frogs. We'll put a whole bunch of frogs in. That sounds like a good idea. So just as, as they get killed, start swapping them out.
My seal armada is not doing as well as I thought. The Isis birds uh, did their things. And no frogs dead yet. You see the health bar up there, slowly dropping. Now the stronger pals you put in, the faster that bar is going to drop, right? Let's let's speed it up by putting in some actual strong ones. Let's get some of these uh, big lightning boys out there. I really like flying pals for this because you don't have to worry about them falling into the lava fields nearly as much. A couple of these scorpion guys would be nice. There, now his health bar's dropping a little faster, all the way down to 11,000. I'm safe in my glass house, I get to watch the show. I don't know what these guys do, but they got the word dog in their name, so I'm putting them in. Oh, we lost a frog. Shit's going down behind that mountain. Guess we can help a little bit, right? Throw in our two cents, waste some ammo. Can't even see him, where is he? Oh, he went over here. Oh, we got some dead pals. Gotta swap them out. Man, that one was just trying to eat. <laughs> got killed while it was eating. Oh, these things are awesome right here. The shadow beaks. Yeah, let's get those guys into the fight. Down to six. That oh, look how fast the health's dropping now. 61, 60, 59. 58. Maybe you shouldn't shoot it. The last thing I want him to do is throw a freaking fireball inside my building. Down to 45. I think around maybe 1,000 health is where we'll start going after him. Okay, he's down to 2,700 health, 26. Ow, don't shoot things in here. 25. 25, 24. Come on, show me 24. I want something done right. Shoot the dragon in the ass. Okay, so we're into the 1,000, so now it's time to come in and take all the pals out of your base. Get them all out before they accidentally overkill them. Okay. Where are you? Get in the ball. Get in the ball. And there you go. That's how you catch a jet dragon without having to actually kill it yourself. <laughs>